Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the end of November, okay? So keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. This reading may not be for you, okay? Boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. That's a clear message. Door. Opportunities are waiting for you. An opportunity is waiting for you. You have to increase your efforts. It's waiting for you. You haven't the opportunity is waiting for you. this one fly <laughs> a period of ill health or depression that's not good let's get one more we all go through periods of that that's pretty normal happiness so there is happiness around the corner you need to increase your efforts maybe it has to do with getting healthy I think that's what it is. If you want to be healthy, you've got to focus on your health. I think that's what it is. I think it has to do with your health. What do we have for Capricorn? There is happiness around the corner, which is good. Independently owned and operated. You have the skills to be independently owned and operated. Doesn't want commitment. Well, you have to increase your efforts. You have to commit. You have to commit. You have to commit. And this, and when I say commitment, people, it's not, commitment is not just relationships. Commitment to anything that you have your mind set on. You have to commit to your goals. If you want success in any arena, no matter what it is, you have to completely commit to it. Change in living situation for some of you. Maybe there's a new door. You know, maybe you're going to be moving. Fire. Now, this is uh, a match. It's a spark. Sudden change. There could be a sudden change. Hit and run. Hit and run. We do have a hit and run here. What do we have for Capricorn? This is a new drive, a new spark, a new inspiration, a new vision. Sudden change, sudden, sudden change. Ooh, Empress. Empress is about being loved and cared for, right? We have a new baby there, the birth of a new life, new creation, creating a new life, renewal, a time of rebirth. It's harvest time, it's time, it's time for a blessing, it's time to re receive. This is love and abundance. This is the goddess of love and abundance, about being loved and cared for, something to do with the mother. Mother's love. There's some sort of glow here. Birth. The birth of a new life. Birth of a new baby. The birth of a new creation. Creating something new. Creating something new. It's a time of, of fertility, believe it or not. You have to increase your efforts, you, you know, in some way. You have to increase your efforts. It's time. It is. It's time. Maybe. 
interesting. What do we have for Capricorn? It may be time to get out of a situation fast. You may need to get moving. Oh, justice reverse. There's an injustice here. Unfair treatment. Lack of accountability. Imbalance. Not being honest. Not telling the truth. Somebody's not being honest maybe with themselves or there's some sort of injustice, you know, against the law. Doing something against the law, breaking the law. It could be news of legalities, um, unfair, unfair decision. Somebody's not committing themselves. They need, to, they need to, they need a realignment. They need to be honest with themselves. Somebody needs to be honest with themselves. Be truthful. Somebody's not being truthful. Oh, goodness gracious. Four of Wands reversed. Page of Swords reversed. Four of Cups. Hero font reversed. Not good. Uh, we, we may have a father figure here that is abusing his power. That's typically what the hero font is in reverse. Or, the, or somebody that is abusing their power. They're under a lot of social pressure. Having a hard time doing the right thing. Um, letting society uh, drive them down the wrong path. Um, no faith. Uncommitted. Not committed. We have somebody here that's not committed at all. They don't. Maybe they don't believe in a higher power. They don't listen. There could be some poor counsel here. Somebody may be listening to poor counsel. Ignoring an opportunity. Missing an opportunity. Somebody's missing something. There's an enemy disguised as a friend, so you do definitely need to be careful. There's like an enemy in the camp or around the home or in your situation, spying, stalking, something like that. There is bad news, I'm sorry to say, because the Page of Swords reverses, the message is coming. It may not be what you want to hear. There's some sort of unfairness, injustice, somebody's not telling the truth. Four of Wands reverses, commitment issues. We definitely have commitment issues. Doesn't want commitment, doesn't want commitment, doesn't want commitment. There is definitely somebody here that doesn't really want commitment. Okay, or they're not really committed to bettering themselves. Or they're not really committed to their work or their home or their foundation or being honest. We definitely have a liar here. Somebody doesn't tell the truth. We may have a sad farewell uh, with the Four of Wands reverse. This is family discord, marital discord. The party is over. The engagement could be the cancellation of an engagement. could be a divorce. I mean, I'm just being honest. A divorce, a separation, um... I feel like we have somebody here that's being ignored. They may be upset. They may be doing something spontaneous to gain power or control. So I don't know who that is for you. It could be somebody that, you know, has some jealousy issues. This person is angry over some sort of rejection or loss. There's lack of accountability, an argument with no resolution in sight. Somebody's not telling the truth. It may have something to do with a marriage or a commitment or their partnership or their home or their foundation. We definitely have not doing the right thing. Doesn't We may have somebody here that doesn't believe, you know, in a higher power or the, I mean, we, this is bad karma. It's an injustice. This is a... Uh, I feel like somebody's breaking the law. I mean, we have hit and run up there as well. I wonder if there's something to do with courts or institutions here. Change in living situation. There may be a tattletale here. The page of swords reverse can be a tattletale, a troublemaker, causing discord on the home front, causing problems. 
Maybe they've been rejected or ignored and they're, and they're going to do something to get some sort of attention. It, that's what it feels like. It feels like there's somebody here who really wants some sort of attention. There's been some sort of unfair fair treatment. There's been an injustice. There's unhappy family, unhappy home. Maybe even a, there's there could be issues with the people around the community. This could be like nasty neighbors, you know, a community where somebody doesn't fit in. We may have somebody here that isn't happy in their current situation, their current living situation. We do have change in living situation. Somebody may want to go back to something. They're staying put, pretending they're happy, but they really want to go back. You know, this Eight of Cups reverse is like, I want to go back, or they're waiting for somebody to come back. Somebody could be coming back around as well. I mean, with the Eight of Cups reversed, somebody may want somebody to come back, or they need to leave a situation that they're staying put in with the Eight of Cups reversed, but staying put for one reason or another. There's some sort of indecision here, and maybe that is about, you know, it's either, it's about one of these commitments. There's indecision, there's an imbalance, there's disharmony, there's a lack of uh, truth, and it's inner truth, accepting the truth. I feel like there's somebody here who doesn't want to be honest with themselves. They need to take a new approach. There is some sort of bad news here. Somebody needs to drink more water as well. They really need to drink more water. They need to get healthy. They need, they need more fruits and vegetables. They need to eat healthy as well. There's something about eating healthy. There's a need to get healthy. somebody here that isn't listening they've been listening to poor counsel instead of listening to their gut not doing the right thing somebody's not doing the right right thing nine of cups reversed nine of wands reversed nines are about taking soul action nines are challenges not happy at all. Very dissatisfied. Somebody is very dissatisfied. They didn't get what they wanted. And they may be going to extremes now. Somebody's, and I don't know what this is. Somebody may be breaking the law. Nine of Wands reverse is facing challenges. You know, somebody, we got somebody here that is refusing to compromise. They're very, very stubborn. You know, this is like a child, a spoiled brat. A spoiled brat. We may have a spoiled brat here that is going to extremes to get their to get their way. Somebody's about to be challenged because the nine of wands reverse is a challenge. This is like a, not happy at all. Somebody's not happy. They're not getting their way. They're not getting what they wanted. They may be throwing a fit. Oh, nine of wands reverse is an indefensible position. There isn't. There's somebody here that is either walk, watching, spying, stalking, that that may be causing you some sort of challenges. This person is a spoiled rat, whoever this person is, um, or they're just a troublemaker, or they can't let go. They could be infatuated. Anyhow, the nine of wands reversed is. Um, somebody's taking a position that they do not think that they will be challenged in, but they will be challenged. I feel like there's challenges on the home front or there's challenging challenges in a living situation. Somebody could be facing challenges with a child or a father figure or with the law. I feel like we have a liar here. I feel like we have somebody here that's not telling the truth. You know, this is somebody that is very smug, that is very cocky, that that thinks that they'll never that it, that they can continue to do this. You know, that they can continue that they're never going to really lose. This is somebody who is very skilled at overcoming challenges. Has a has a very I wanted to say like uh, something about that tongue. Uh, you know, they speak. They, they 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 they're able to get out of things. But this is I feel like this is something that can't be gotten out of. Um,
cancellation of an event, cancellation of an engagement. The party is over. I wonder if there's somebody that is going overboard with the Nine of Cups. That can be overboard with drinking or overboard with something. Now the party is over. The honeymoon is over. This is a messy situation. It is definitely messy. There's somebody here that doesn't want to commit. They don't want to commit to their current circumstances. And they are facing challenges. There could be a separation. There could be a breakup, a cancellation of an engagement or a marriage. You know, engagement or a commitment. You know, somebody may be choosing to be single. There could be discussions that are difficult, difficult cons discussions. We may have somebody here that has a new vision. They're not happy where they're at. There's discontent here. There's discontent. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Mm -hmm. Knight of Pentacles is a new solid foundation. Putting in effort to build a foundation. This is coming up with a plan, taking a slow and methodical approach, working hard to create something. And we do have a new creation here. I think that I think we go from an injustice and a lot of challenges and unhappiness to I don't know, maybe it's a, new, a sudden desire to build or a sudden desire to put in effort. Maybe there's some news that arrives that... Yeah, enlightens somebody. <laughs> there is moving here. Because that, we have it here and this is like, if it's not moving, it's going somewhere. It's traveling. It's getting in the driver's seat. Could be packing up and leaving. Um, coming up with a plan, going, taking a non-traditional approach or a non-conventional approach. Hit and run. We have a car here and then we have the hit and run. I tell you what, somebody needs to be careful. Some, and especially with drinking and driving. Okay. This is working hard to build a solid foundation. New drive. Maybe a new car, but just, I don't know. New drive. This is a new security. This is a new security going somewhere. Suddenly, sudden movement, sudden change. An opportunity is being presented that moves you or gives you an opportunity to start a new life. To move. Maybe it breaks you free from some sort of challenges or somebody that's been, I don't know, somebody's been harassing you or, or causing you a lot of problems. We definitely have movement. We have the creation of a new life. For some of you, there could even be a pregnancy here. There's a need to commit. There's a need to move forward. Come up with a plan. Something about a plan because the Knight of Pentacles is a planner. Planning a move maybe for some of you or somebody is. Sudden, because I ate that to me is the Ace of Wands. It's a sudden spark, desire, drive to maybe commit. This could be a new commitment. We have don't want commitment over here, but the Knight of Pentacles commits commits to the future, is a hard worker, you know, is really wanting to commit. Maybe we have somebody here that was confused, you know, they were indecisive, they weren't sure about the community, they weren't sure about the partner, you know, they've been dissatisfied, you know, they didn't want commitment in the past, maybe they were single, you know, I don't know, but I feel like, I feel like, and we got increase your efforts, I feel like we have somebody here that, I don't know if they've been, you know, very mentally unbalanced, maybe drinking too much, or or partying too much or just lazy you know but I do feel like that we have a change in commitment and and I'm not just talking about that marriage commitment I mean it certainly could be a marriage commitment it could be but it could be a commitment to health 
because I want to say something about the health, a new commitment, a sudden desire to work on health because this is a sudden desire to work on health. So I think that's a big deal. I feel like you need to be open-minded. I feel like you need to let your wall down. I feel like you need to make better choices. Maybe, you know, drink more water. I think I said that already. Um, focus on yourself. Focus on your health. Hit and run. We have this vehicle. This is a hit and run. This is a vehicle. Maybe it's time to go. Maybe it's time to go in a new direction. Maybe you need to go in faith because this is this is about replacing fear with faith. This is no faith. Have faith in new beginnings. Have faith in new life, you know? Taking a journey. Somebody's going somewhere. Page of Pentacles, reverse is a dead end. It's a, it is. It's a dead end. There's, I'm sorry. Okay. Page of Pentacles, reversed is dropping out. Not interested. Not following through. Don't want the opportunity. Don't want the opportunity. No faith. Not committed. Both of these cards. We have somebody here that doesn't want the opportunity I don't know if it has to do with a child or it has to do with starting over because this is like I don't want to do it this is laziness not putting in effort this is somebody that has lost sight of their goals You know, this is like no consistency, doesn't believe in one. So somebody needs to find faith. They need to, they need to find their faith. They've lost faith. There could be some unfaithfulness here. I wonder if somebody has been cheating. Just saying. The hit and run can be cheating, going somewhere, having sex and, you know, getting somebody getting pregnant and oh boy. There is news that is coming. It may not be what you want to hear. This is challenging news. Challenging news. And now that's not going to be for everybody, but this is this is like not interested in this. Unhealthy. Not solid, not stable. Somebody is very unhealthy. They need to get healthy. They need to commit themselves they do. There's a new commitment that is needed. Somebody needs to take charge. They need to take back control of them, themselves. They need to take back control of their lives. They've been listening to poor counsel or, counsel or they've just been really lazy. Somebody needs to come up with a new plan. New plan. New goal. Get in the driver's seat. Face the opposition. Find your mental determination. This is about discipline and determination. You need to, you need to find that, that determination and that discipline to follow through with a plan. Make a plan and follow through. Maybe you have to take a, like I said, an unconventional approach. Do something you've never done before. Maybe it has to do with commitment. Commit to a new path. On the bottom of the deck, we have the hermit, which is a time of solitude, reflection, um, soul searching, re-identifying, coming up with a plan. It's a time of enlightenment. So I feel like this is like becoming clear, taking a time out to reflect and coming up with a new plan. You are going to be facing some challenges.
There is something that is being seen. Something is being seen. The light is being shed. There is some truth here. Okay, lies. There's lies, but there's truth as well because the opposite of lies is truth. We have somebody here who hasn't been telling the truth. Moving, going somewhere, starting a new life, creating a new life. Facing opposition. You may have to reject somebody. You may have to tell somebody no. Maybe you have to tell somebody no that doesn't that you don't want to be committed to or that whatever this commitment is. This could be a job or a person. That you're going in a completely new direction. You're no longer interested. There is an opportunity waiting for you. You are going to be presented with an opportunity. We have it here. We have it here. This is, has something to do with a journey. Taking a journey. An opportunity that has you moving or traveling or something like that. You may need to be open-minded to it. Okay, you may not be interested in it, but it's an opportunity for a new life. I don't know how that resonates with you. This could be a job, a traveling job. Going down a new path for sure. Some of you will be going by yourselves because of this and this. Have fun. Stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly? Something totally unlike you. Something just for the joy of it. It's long overdue for you to let go of your analytical mind and give yourself and your soul permission to have fun. Maybe you're too serious. I do see you needing to take a non-conventional approach or a non-traditional approach. You are going to be receiving an opportunity. This is, it is exciting. There could be somebody that is watching you that is making you an offer. But there's been some sort of lack of integrity or unfair treatment or maybe you just don't trust. The nine of wands reversed is down here. That's, I don't trust anyway, anybody, nobody. We have somebody here that's been independently owned and operated because they've been in an unfair, unjust situation. They didn't get their wish of fulfillment. Now they don't believe in commitment. There is no, I don't believe in it. I don't want it. Seriously. And this is the nine of wands reverse is like, I don't trust anybody. Been hurt really, really bad. I mean, I could go all day with these cards. I have other readings to do, but it is time to have fun. You're going to receive an offer or an invite or an opportunity from somebody. This has to do with travel or a vehicle or something like that or moving. It is exciting. It is exciting. It can bring you happiness. It can. This is an opportunity to create a new life. I got to show you what's on the bottom. Let go. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit, as we have only your best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you. So you have to let go of the outcome. I feel like you, you're too serious. You may need to do something spontaneous. Really spontaneous. 
This is very spontaneous. Anyhow, what do we have for Capricorn? And you think about the hermit. The hermit's a wise old man. It's a loner. I mean, we have loner several times. I think you need to come up with a plan. You need to think about who you are. Think about where you want to be. Come up with a plan and follow through with it. I also feel like we have somebody here who has been thinking already. They've been thinking. Maybe they've come up with a plan and they deliver the news. Maybe they're leaving. Anyhow. Knight of Ariel. Trustworthy, understanding, devoted, funny. There is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. I think I just told you that now, didn't I? Being watched over by someone kind. There is somebody watching you. Make a very detailed. I saw it here. I said it right before this card came out. It fell out. You haven't been committed. You have to commit yourself. Make a detailed plan and follow it. This is creating. The Empress is a creator. Okay? Nourish the plan. Nourish it. That's what a mother does. You've got to be the mother whether you're a male or a female. You need to nourish the plan. You need to feed the plan. You need to water the plan. You need to work on the plan. And then you've got to wait for it to come to fruition. Okay, you work, 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 work on it. You, it's basically that gestational period, right? Then you receive your blessing in the future. Your blessing of abundance and love comes in the future after you've nurtured it. It's kind of like what you're going to feed your baby. Now, I know a lot of people don't feed their babies good things, and that's really sad to me. But, you know, it's a picture like feeding your baby, you know, when you're pregnant. <laughs> this get me going right here, but we're not going to go down that path. But anyhow, when you're going to feed your baby, you're going to feed your baby. Okay, you're going to feed your baby healthy food, right? You're going to feed your baby, you know, a lot of water. You're not going to smoke. You're not going to do drugs. And you're going to treat yourself like that. You're going to, you're, you're feeding your baby. I don't know where that's come from, but you need to nerd. And you do it knowing that after that period, you're going to get to hold that baby. You're going to get to have that miracle. You did that work. That's part of you. The blessing comes after the nourishment. So I think it's, it's really time for you to come up with a plan and give it time to come to fruition. Think of it like over the next nine months, because that's how long it takes, nine to ten months, but we won't get into that right now. Could be sooner. It all depends on you. Anyhow, coming up with a plan to create your abundance and following through with it. And it's going to be work. You have to commit to that plan. If you don't commit to you, that plan, then, you know, it doesn't work out. There's problems that come along. Sometimes loss. Anyway, good luck.